Hello and welcome to Creatively Color Berries. My name is Devon and I'd like to take the opportunity to welcome you to my channel, Creatively Color Berries. On this channel, you'll see sewing, knitting, crafts of all type. Knit primarily though, what you will see is sewing, knitting, and some jewelry making. If you have not been to my channel before, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome you to this channel. And if you are returning, uh, thank you for coming back. I have not been on YouTube in quite some time. Like most people's lives, mine is also very busy. What I found that I was doing is I was creating content, but didn't have the time to edit. So I would just let that go, create more content. I didn't have the time to edit, and then I'd let that go, and that kept happening. So I finally decided that what I would do is just wait until I could create the content, do the editing in an appropriate time frame, and upload it successfully. I believe that I have struck that balance and I'm able to do that. So going forward, my intention is to upload new videos weekly or on the outside bi-weekly, but definitely not to have such a large gap to go by between one video and the next. And I thank you very much for your patience. So let's start today with what I am wearing. Today, I am wearing Quick Sew 4246. And I am wearing view A, which is this, oops, which is this view. This is view A, this one I'm wearing. And this pattern comes in sizes extra small to extra large, where the extra small has a bust size of 31 and a half, and the largest, the extra large, has a bust size of 43 and 43 to 45. So it is described as a pullover with D opening with bust darts facing and three quarter length sleeves. Um, the fabrics are cotton type, broadcloth, seersucker, chambray, gingham, crepe, and georgette. I made mine out of a cotton fabric that I've had in my stash for many, many years. I like it because it's colorful, it's bright. I have the, the uh, flounce on the on the sleeves here, on the end of the sleeves. And while it is described as a three-quarter length, the 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 actual sleeve ends here and then the flounce goes down to just above my wrist and I actually like that because it works well in this weather I made it um, several <laughs> a little a while ago and I this is one of those videos that I made that I wound up discarding because I didn't have, this is one of the items that I made, made a video for it and wound up discarding because the editing did not happen in a timely manner. But it is a lovely, lovely blouse. It has the, I like the v-neck, I like the, uh, the back, it has a really nice facing that comes all the way around into this v-neck. You put it on over your head. It's roomy without being too big. Very comfortable. I can wear this by itself because currently our weather is changing. So while it's not time yet for maybe sleeveless or even short sleeve, this is appropriate either by itself or with a camisole underneath it. So this is Quick Sew 4246 pullover top with a three quarter length sleeve. So what I have been making recently is in February and March, I 
I made something for my daughter. Where I live, it's cold. Where she lives, it's even colder. And I made this, I made McCall's 7518, which is a onesie. Here's the line drawings. And uh, it's onesie for the whole family, including the dog. Um, it comes in small to extra large in the one envelope. And I made her a, an adult small, which goes with her measurements. The fabrics that are suggested are have moderate stretch, such as sweatshirt, fleece, and velour. And of course, you have ribbing around the sleeves, around the wrist, and around the ankles. So when I made hers, uh, the fabric I bought was from Joann's. And I made it out of a fabric that had printed uh, sunflowers all over it because she loves sunflowers. So I made hers with a sunflower fabric in fleece and I lined the hoodie with a satin type fabric that I found in my stash and the ribbing that goes around the wrist and around the ankles also came out of I, fabrics that I found in my stash. So she wears this thing quite often. Frequently when we talk on FaceTime, she is wearing that because it's comfortable, it's loungy, you know, she can wear it all the time, <laughs> you know. So um, I consider it a success because she wears it quite, quite often. So, uh, yeah, and I love the, the kangaroo pockets on it. And, um, you know, of course, it's a onesie, it zips up the front. So that is the notion that it requires. It, it requires a zipper. So uh, I don't know what else I can say about this, except it's a onesie with a hood and, and uh, ribbed uh, wrist and ankles. Kangaroo pocket and zips up the front. So the other thing I made for my daughter was I knitted her a pair of socks. And here is the a photo. I don't have, just like I don't have the onesie, I don't have the socks either. But this is the pattern I use. It's called No Fear Shorty Socks. And this pattern is created by Denise DeSantis. She has a channel on YouTube and it's called Earth Tones Girl. And uh, one of the things, she, she makes lots of beautiful socks. And so I am learning how to knit socks. And so I created a pair of socks for my daughter out of her favorite color knit, which is purple. And she just loves that thing. And she, she wears that quite often as well. And I'm delighted to, to be able to do that, to create something that I know that she will like. So that is the No Fear Shorty Socks by Denise DeSantis. So what I am currently working on. Currently, I am working on Butterick 4580, which is this pattern. I am making this view, which is view A. And this pattern is old. It is from, I believe, 2005. It's, yeah, it's from 2005. And it is described as an easy skirt. So view A has the split in the front and here's a picture of the line drawings. So I like the skirt because it is classic and timeless. I have had this pattern in my stash for many, many years. And I didn't have the confidence to try to make it because primarily before the pandemic, or before the pandemic, all my sewing had to do with the home. Everything from duvet covers, to curtains, to chair covers, pillows, 
throws, you name it. <laughs> Everything I made, table cover, table, tabletop coverings, placemats, anything for the home, that's what I was doing. But my desire was always to sew clothing that I made, that I liked, that fits me the way I want it to fit me. So anyhow, I'm finally at the point where I felt confident enough to sew this pattern. So here is what the skirt looks like at this point. It's not quite finished yet, but it's almost there. So here it is, and it has the slit in the front. And I put the uh, invisible zip uh, in as well. So it st still needs a little bit of work. It needs hemming and the inside facing needs to be addressed and that kind of thing. But it's almost completely finished and I am just looking forward to wearing it. While I'm talking about the skirt, I'm, I went to Joann's and I saw this fabric that was just perfect to make a blouse for it. And here it is. And I bought enough to make a blouse that is either can either be a long sleeve or mid length sleeve because I don't want something that's short sleeve. And I believe that these two go together, the uh, these two fabrics in terms of their color because the pink here and here they go together so my plan is to make a blouse to go with that skirt and while I don't I haven't selected a pattern yet I have some ideas I have a vogue pattern in mind that possibly I could use that has a, uh, a cow neck something because it, you know this fabric lends itself to making something that's drapey so when I make that selection of the pattern and sew up the blouse I will put the whole outfit on and take pictures and just come on and just let you know how it all went so that's what's next for me that I'm working on this and a blouse to go with it what I also have in my plans is to make this blouse. This is Simplicity 9547 and my plan is to make the view that the model is wearing, which is view A. It is described as a mist top or tunic. It's the recommended fabric are chalet, crepe, voile, cotton blends, and double georgette. It also requires buttons, five buttons, because the line drawings shows that there are buttons going down the back. So I am interested in sewing this because I like the gathering around the neck and then it has the big puff sleeve. They don't look overdone, you know, like huge, but there's just enough puffiness in the sleeve that makes me interested sewing it. There's also an option where it seems to have like a flounce sleeve and then a bishop sleeve, but I'm not interested in those. I just want to make the one that has the puff sleeve, which is view A, which is this one. So that's in my plans. And the last thing that I have in my plans is uh, Simplicity 9525, which are pouches. And they come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Um, it's almost time to start traveling because summertime is coming and gift time, you know, these make great gifts any time of year. So my goal is to make several of these in various shapes, various sizes for gifts, for traveling, for all, all the things. And um, so it recommends cotton and, and cotton types and I did look inside the pattern envelope and what it has inside is fabric A or one or and fabric two or B you know so you have two different fabrics the one fabric is for the outside and the second fabric is for the inside it also has a zipper so um, and it requires a little bit of inf interfacing so I am very interested in making 
these. I will take pictures of them, of course, and put uh, make a review or, or record a review as to how this went. But I'm very excited to sew these as well because they're just so cute. So that's all I have for you today. I am so delighted that you stopped by and visited me in my little corner of the YouTube universe. There are many, many places where you could have gone, but I am just grateful that you stopped by and spent a little bit of your time with me. So if you like the content of this video, please press the like button subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified the next time I upload a new video which will be soon uh, so in the meantime I would like to leave you with a word of encouragement that I always use to encourage myself believe in the beauty of your dreams thank you for stopping by and have a wonderful evening creative day. I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye for now.